What's up, everybody? It's your girl Shania. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty for Ashes. It's been a minute. <laughs> Don't have an excuse for it. So let's get right into the video. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm talking about being deployed. And it's a, it's a scary thing. But I'm not being deployed by the government or anything like that. I'm being deployed by God, which is just as scary, if not more. And it's scary, especially when you don't think you're equipped to do whatever God's calling you to do. But knowing God, knowing the God that I serve, he wouldn't tell me to do something that, that he hasn't equipped me for. So I was at church, I think, believing it was in January. And we were reading from Psalms 42, 1 through 3. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before him? So the deer is thirsting for something, and that's something being water. So it's panting, right? And it will dive into water, not only because it's thirsty, but also because an enemy might be chasing after it. And if it hides in water, it's sent its mask, so the enemy can't find it. If we immerse ourselves, dive ourselves deeper into God, the enemy can't find us. And not only will we be hidden from the enemy, but we also will be satisfied. So we were talking about that and she asks, when did God no longer be enough for you? When did his voice no longer satisfy you? And honestly, I thought to myself, it was when I started praying selfish prayers. I was always asking about me and not about what God wanted me to pray for. I wasn't always speaking in tongues and praying with the Holy Spirit wanting me to pray. And I realized that I wasn't satisfied with the answers that I was getting or was not getting because it wasn't what I wanted to hear. If you ever go back to like diving deep in your word, deep in God, it's literally so satisfying. And God says that I give you peace, peace that the world can't give or take away. Like he is so satisfying and, and is everlasting. He's an everlasting God. So if he's an everlasting God, that means everything about him, the things he give, the things he creates, everything will always stand and never leave because he is an everlasting God. So I went up for prayer and I just like broke down. You ever need like a good, a good cry? Like sometimes you just need a really good cry. And it's funny enough that week, me and my friends were talking about that. We was like, I feel like we just need a good cry with God. But I went to church that day, went to the altar, and God broke me down. Okay? Questions that I was asking about, he answered. And another thing that was really interesting, I think that just like blew my mind was, for some reason, I was looking down the altar seeing everyone praying and then the the pastors putting their hands on people and stuff like that but for some reason it looked to me that we were getting equipped for something and I remember saying to myself why does it look like we've been equipped like we got to go out on a mission blah 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 and God literally said because you are because you're being deployed and this I really wrote down what he said to me he said you are getting equipped right now you are getting ready to get deployed. There is a spiritual war that is here that we are not fighting. Because many of us will not go, will not fight, will not take our posts, we are seeing the war naturally. And many of our brothers and sisters are dying because we won't go, we won't move, and aren't desperate enough to fight. And it was in the beginning of January when this happened. So this is when everyone was talking about the war. And God was saying, y'all not doing what y'all supposed to be doing naturally. Y'all supposed to be fighting this war. There's a, a spiritual war going on, but we're not doing what we're supposed to do. So that's why we're seeing it in the naturally. Anything that happens in the spiritual will manifest in the natural. So I was like, yo, it blew my mind. And he said, many brothers and sisters are dying in this pointless war. And a lot of them don't know God. You know, it was just a lot going on that it was... Shania, you have the authority. Why are you not using it in this moment? God says, look, I have given you authority over the power of the enemy and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. So I remember in college, I had a war room. So my closet had a walk-in closet. So like I would go in there and I had uh, scriptures written everywhere in there. I would go in there and literally practice being an intercessor. And I remember anytime I would feel scared or I just felt weak, I would look at that scripture and pray on it, pray on it. I felt more empowered because God was literally saying, you have authority over the enemy. Don't forget that. And 
It's easy to, in this world that we live, a world of sin, to forget the authority that you have. Life doesn't have to happen to you. You can use your authority that God gives you to overcome the things that life throws at you, you know? But I know one thing is, a lot of times if we're we're so wrapped up in our own issues and our own problems, it will seem worse than what it is. But if we take that same energy that we're focusing on ourselves and, and put it towards other people and try to help them, our problems won't be so big to us, I feel. I've tried it and it it works. You can be so wrapped up in yourself that you don't see what everybody else is doing. You don't see everybody else suffering. And if you help them out, it'll make you feel better. So I just feel that we need to step up and do our job. Whatever your purpose is, answer the call. You know, if you're still alive, if there's still breath in your lungs, it's because you do have a purpose and you haven't fulfilled it yet. So be excited about it. Know that if God is calling you to do something, he has equipped you to do it. It can be scary, but don't allow self-doubt. Don't allow the enemy. Don't allow anybody to make you doubt the faith that you have in God and the faith that you have and the fact that he has equipped you and he will be there with you every step of the way. No matter what it feels like, no matter what it looks like, even when it doesn't feel like it, God's still working. Even when you don't see it, he is still working. And so, and, and then eventually it will all come back around full circle. We're like, oh, now I see what you were doing. Now it makes sense. So I hope you got some out of this video. I hope it's encouragement. I hope you already be deployed as well. And accept the call. All right. See y'all next time. Peace.